Well, March is colorectal cancer awareness month. This disease is the second leading cause of cancer deaths here in the U.S. Well, doctors at Penn State Hershey Medical Center are reminding people that screening and early detection are key to beating this disease. Each year, more than 55,000 Americans die from colorectal cancer. 57-year-old Donna Milakovic could have been one of them had her family doctor not urged her to get a colonoscopy. Like most people, Donna wasn't looking forward to the procedure, but it was a blessing she went when she did. He came out and talked to me and told me they had found three polyps. He could remove two, but the third one was flattened against the wall of my colon and it, it would have to be done surgically. The entire procedure only takes about 20 minutes. The day before is what most people say can be the hardest part, sticking to a liquid diet and a special solution to flush out your colon. The prep. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know about the other stuff. You're sound asleep. <laughs> But um, it's worth going through. Dr. McGarity performed the procedure on Donna, and he explains how he removes the possibly cancerous polyps. So here we see two polyps, one there and one there. Here's a polyp in view here. We've got the loop around here, and then we burn uh, with electricity and snip this off. Historically, McGarity says people put getting a colonoscopy on the back burner, but today they are becoming more aware of the consequences. Compared to a decade or two ago, um, Patients are more receptive to these kind of preventative tests than perhaps 20 years ago. Um, so the, the, we find the most important thing is, is the recommendation of the family doctor. And Donna isn't an exception. It's made me realize I really have to go every year to have this done because I don't want to go through this again. Well, Dr. McGarity says after the procedure, you can go back to work the next day. To learn more about colonoscopy screenings, you can go to our website, fox43.com, and to click on health. Well,